just look, it's totally HD. Why are you taping this? You're never gonna watch it. In a million years, you're not gonna watch videos of your kids doing shit you missed the first time it happened. You don't watch it, you just put it on Facebook. Here, you watch it. I wanna take a nap now. And then you get to read all the comments. Oh my god! It's so cute! And guess what? They're not watching it either. They're not watching the video. These kids are dancing for no one. Nobody watches the videos on your Facebook. They see the first frame of a kid and they go, ah, that's very nice, okay, back to this. <laughs> Nobody's watching your kids' videos on Facebook, I promise you, I'll prove it to you. Next time you take your kids' dance, take one second of it and then add 20 minutes of just your own asshole. Just go in the bathroom and just record your own anus opening and closing for 20 minutes. Tack it on to your kid dancing for a second. Put that on Facebook. Everybody will write the same thing. That's adorable! I think I see a future star! Don't tape tape shit on your, life is short. Life is very short. I like life, I like it. I, I, I feel like even if it ends up being short, I got, I got lucky to get to have it. Because life is an amazing gift when you think about what you get with a basic life. Not even a particularly lucky life or a healthy life. If you have a life, it's a, here's your boilerplate deal with life. This is basic cable, what you get when you get life. You get to be on Earth. First of all, oh my God, what a location. This is Earth, and for trillions of miles in every direction, it fucking sucks so bad. It's so shitty that your eyes bolt out of your head because it sucks so bad. You get to be on Earth and look at shit, as long as you're not blind or whatever it is. You get to be here. You get to eat food. You get to put bacon in your mouth. I mean, when you have bacon in your mouth, it doesn't matter who's president or anything. You just, oh, oh. Every time I'm eating bacon, I think I could die right now, and I mean it. That's how good life is. You get to, you get to fuck. That's free if you're smart. That's, that comes with. That's part of the deal. Where else are you gonna get that deal? You get to put your dick in there and go in and out. Pretty good. And if you're a woman, you get to just lay back and just have a dick just shoving in and out of you awkwardly. Anytime you want, anytime you want. If you're a gay man, you get to just fill your boyfriend's ass with your dick. Just fill it all the way to the balls. And it's nice and warm and tight in there. And he's your buddy. If you're a lesbian, you get to do all the stuff they're doing. And, uh, Deal. You get to eat, you get to fuck, you get to read To Kill a Mockingbird. It's a great life. So what did I, I know, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> it's pretty good. And I'm wasting a lot of time with being angry because I don't know. You know, it's amazing how nasty we can get as people, depending on the situation. Like, most people are okay, as long as they're okay. But if you put people in certain contexts, they just change. Like, when I'm in my car, I have a different set of values. 
I am the worst person I can be when I'm behind the wheel, which is when I'm at my most dangerous. When you're driving, that's when you need to be the most compassionate and responsible of any other time in your life, because you are fucking driving a weapon amongst weapons. And yet it's the worst people get, and I, I am the worst. One time I was driving, and there was a guy ahead of me, and he kind of, I don't know, he sort of drifted into my lane for a second, and this came out of my mouth. I said, worthless piece of shit. <laughs> Man, what an indictment. What kind of a way is that to feel about another human <laughs> being? Worthless piece of shit. That's somebody's son. And things I've said to other people. I was at once driving, some guy in a pickup truck did, I don't know, remember even? And I yelled out my window, I said, hey, fuck you! Where outside of a car is that even nearly okay? If you were in an elevator, and you were like right next to a person's body, and whatever, like he leaned into you a little bit, would you ever turn right to their face and go, Hey, fuck you! <laughs> Worthless piece of shit! No. Literally zero people would ever do that. But put a couple of pieces of glass and some road between you, there's nothing you would not say to them. I hope you die! I said that to a person. I hope you die. Why? Because you made me go like this for half a second of my life. You tested my reflexes and it worked out fine. So now I hope your kids grow up motherless. I mean, what am I capable of? I'd like to think that I'm a nice person, but I don't know, man. A lot of it is context. There's a lot of things I wonder if the world was different. Like if murder was legal, I might have killed a few people. I don't know. I'd love to think, oh, I would never do that. But we really need the law against murder. For one simple reason. The law against murder is the number one thing preventing murder. We'd like to think it's because, like, oh, I would never do that. No, it's because it really sucks getting caught murdering. A lot. If murder was legal, or just a misdemeanor, <laughs> like you get a thing in the mail, ah, oh, shit, they had a camera there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if murder was legal, there would be so much murder. Regular people would murder. Murderers would murder even more. And then really nice, sweet people would murder a few people. But nobody would murder no people. You wouldn't trust somebody who didn't murder. If murder was legal, you wouldn't like them. I never killed anybody. Okay, nice meeting you. Ugh. What a creep. I mean, not even a hooker. Live a life. What's wrong with that guy? It's like a Mormon or some shit. I hate those guys. I think he's nice. Shut up, Janet. <laughs> it would just... If murder was legal, there would be a lot of murder. Children would behave very differently. Because mostly parents would be murdering their own kids. That's mostly what would happen if murder was legal. You'd be, you know, you go to a mall, there'd be like eight different moms in the mall just like, I told you to stop it! You didn't listen to me! Just... <laughs> You'd be just, you'd be stepping over dead kids. It'd be like a new problem. You have to clean up your kids when you kill them, because it's gross. It's bad for the environment. If you murder your child in a public place, please use one of the red bags that are in the dispensers every three feet of America. 
Put your murder child in the red bag with a logo of a murdered kid on it. Next, next to the other logo that tells you not to let your alive kid play with a plastic bag because they might suffocate. In which case, you could just leave them in the bag. That is a whole bunch of horrible thoughts right in a row. Right in a row. That is a compressed area of bad thoughts. You know, you have your bad thoughts. Hopefully you, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win, you know, the good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. And I don't believe it, but it is there. It's always this thing and then this thing. It's become a category in my brain that I call, of course, but maybe. I'll give you an example. Okay, like of course, of course, children who have nut allergies need to be protected. Of course. We have to segregate their food from nuts, have their medication available at all times, and anybody who manufactures or serves food needs to be aware of deadly nut allergies. Of course. But maybe, maybe, if touching a nut kills you, you're supposed to die. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Jesus. I have a nephew who has that. I'd be devastated if something happened to him. But maybe, <laughs> maybe, if we all just do this for one year, we're done with nut allergies forever. if you're fighting for your country and you get shot or hurt, it's a terrible tragedy. Of course. Of course. 